Sometimes the wargaming community really does surprise me. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. So yeah, this week the wargaming community really did surprise me over something I thought was quite innocuous when I first saw it. And this was around the Warhammer community team's announcement of two children's books based upon uh, one on Warhammer Age of Sigmar universe and one on the Warhammer 40,000 universe to be called uh, Warhammer Adventures. And these are books aimed at children from 8 to 12 years old. On face value, when I read this, I thought, great, what the Games Workshop are trying to open up the hobby to, um, to a younger age. Uh, I know that I certainly got into Warhammer and uh, into Games Workshop hobby as a, as a kind of eight, nine year old. My sons both sort of tried it at that age. And, and why not have a different perspective kind of novels aimed at that age group? Sounds like a perfectly good idea. However, it seems the vast majority of war gamers don't agree with my opinion. And I, I just found this, just the, the level of sort of anger about this and, and this feeling of Warhammer is going to be killed because of these children's books. I just, I couldn't believe it. So I thought I had to watch some videos. I've got to sort of do a bit more digging. Maybe I'm missing something here. And I've done a bit of digging. I've done a bit of research. I've looked into the background of these books to try and understand what they're about. I've looked at other people's videos to try and see what it is they're kind of, is so that really kind of riling them up about it. And I'll be honest, I haven't changed my mind. I still think that these books are a good idea. So let me kind of clarify some of the thoughts. A lot of people seem to be upset about this because they think it's either going to dilute the Warhammer 40,000 universe. And I'll be honest, most of what I've seen has come from 40k fans and not so much from the AOS side. They definitely feel that the Warhammer 40,000 universe is very vast and it's developed and it shouldn't be diluted or it shouldn't be sliced up to be acceptable to children. Now, I think one of the points that people are missing, I think they're missing, is that Actually, books for 8 to 12 year olds aren't all around kind of, kind of fluffy bunnies and the world's a perfect place. There's some very, very dark books aimed at children. Things like Lemony Snicket, things like Harry Potter. Think of all of the Roald Dahl books. There's some real, real kind of dark stories in there. So it, it doesn't mean that this has got to be diluted and sort of set in this beautiful world where everything's fine. And miles away from our story, the space marines being ripped apart and chaos just kind of um, sort of set and tear to the universe. First of all, we, we haven't seen these books yet. All we've seen is some artwork. Now, I think this is potentially is one of the reasons that it is, um, it's kind of upsetting a few people. Because what I would say is that books aimed at 8 to 12 year olds, the artwork seems a little bit younger. It looks very kind of... Oh, sort of Ben 10 type art style, if you like, if you, if, if, if you know what Ben 10 is, that kind of kid shows. It's very, very younger, cartoony looking. And I think potentially this might be leading people down that kind of route to think it's going to be really kind of dumbed down. We don't know this because we haven't seen it yet. But if you think of some of the kind of, some other novels that have basically taken more adult themes and distilled them down for a younger audience... We, a number of years ago, there was a, a young James Bond set of books there that were created. And this actually also created a very similar kind of feel, maybe quite not so passionately, but a similar feel amongst James Bond fans, saying, how can you have a young James Bond? How can it be for children? You're just, you know, you're, you're rolling this out. You're shitting all over the law, basically. You're, you're kind of killing the background. However, when that first novel came out, people read it. It was critically pra praised, and it's gone on to have a lot of subsequent novels. Uh, and, and they've sold kind of, forget what I, what I read, something like it was well over kind of six or 700,000 copies of these novels. So they've, they've proved to be quite popular. You've then got authors, people like Chris Ryan, who wrote Bravo 2-0, very adult sort of SAS themed stories. He's now wrote a series of children's novels that have been very, very successful. And when you read the subject matter for them, it's still quite adult subject matter. However, it's aimed at, I think it's 9 to 11 or 8 to 11 year olds. It might even be 7 to 11 year olds, actually the Chris Ryan ones. But it's aimed at a younger audience. However, the covers of these still look quite adult in their, in their theming or certainly teenage. Uh, and I think that basically children 
of kind of 8 to 12 don't really want to be tret like young children so i i think some of what is leading everybody down this path is that the artwork on the front sort of cover looks a little bit childish very childish i would say you know not aimed at necessarily that market <laughs> there's been a whole host of comments about being sort of pandering to social justice warrior type attitudes about the color of the skin of the characters about the fact that how can how can you distill down sort of the evil of necrons into kids stories i just it's just surprised me so much that people feel so passionately about a product that isn't aimed at them but they feel the need to kind of take to the internet to kind of to see what a bad idea it is how it's disgraceful how games workshop are just cashing in how they're going to kill the hobby how basically in the future i've seen a couple of videos that are basically saying that this is just the start of it soon we'll have to dumb down the entire universe to allow kids to have access to it i just i, I can't i can't see how people are, are coming to these conclusions now maybe i I tend to look at things from a slightly more positive perspective, I would say. That's my that's my general nature. And I try to take a balanced view about this kind of stuff. But the, it's, there is pure hatred in some of the comments from people about the fact that we have coloured children in the um, in the in the comic in, in these books, sorry. Um, the fact that one of them looks like she's wearing a hijab. It it just looks like a hood, to be fair. That, that was what I saw. People complaining about the fact that it um basically that that it's pandering to kind of this social justice thing why you know there's got to be females in it and they have to be not white skinned and all of this kind of stuff i don't i can't see how we can have such a vast universe as 40k and now coming age of sigmar as well but we've never sort of delved into the fact that there there must be families in this universe there must be children in this universe why can't we have novels aimed at a younger audience based around the younger sort of inhabitants of the 40k universe i'm just really really surprised that the kind of the community has been so so angry about this um maybe you feel differently try and convince me tell me down in the comments let me know why i'm completely wrong uh, if this is the first video you've seen of mine thank you very much for watching and why not click the subscribe button for more tabletop hobby and tabletop news and i'll see you in the next video